Hey guys, it's Running Kimono. So on this dreary Friday, we've had so much snow in the last 24 hours. I can't go out to the stores because it's really bad out there. But I'm doing a stockpile tour. I haven't done one of these in six plus months and I know a lot of you are very curious about my basement and where I keep my stockpile. So the first area, this is kind of a funny little box uh, from Duluth Trading Company. Um, we're going to talk about my paper stockpile downstairs and then we're going to talk about the general stuff that I have stored. Um, and this is like a lot of paper towel, toilet paper, that kind of good stuff. And just to like let you guys know, my husband shot a part of this video and then I shot part of it so it might look a little different. Two different cameras we're using. Um, but yeah, this is just my stockpile. It's a lot of paper. All of this stuff, it's actually, we don't use it. Um, it's this, the paper we use is upstairs and I'll show you that at the very end. But we have just a lot of different paper products. Um, you know, these are actually quite excellent for your car. I've never bought these before and I started getting them last, um, fall at Meyer and they're just fantastic. They fit perfectly in a cup holder. So they're great. And you know, just stuff that I've been hauling. Um, I just keep some stuff over here. I like to have these shelves with nothing but paper, but at this time I have other stuff because I've kind of run out of room and that just sometimes happens in my stockpile. And um, yeah, we're just going to open up some boxes, cruise through a couple things. These little bibs and bobs, I have to keep um, everything stacked on this one shelf because Suzu, believe it or not, actually climbed into the ceiling and fell through the roof um, through this um, paper shelf um, last fall. It was really scary. So here is... Um, <clears throat> Some of my Febreze scent plugs. These guys are very, very, um, they, they smell a lot. So they have to be stored in containers so your entire stockpile doesn't smell like Febreze or Glade. And they are extremely um, potent um, plugs. I mean, they really, really smell. And even though you're storing them all together like this, um, they will not, you know, take on each other's scent. They will, because they're still packaged. Um, and I kind of had a hard time getting that guy together. I have my um, mountain of uh, Febreze plugs, which I really like. Um, these guys, I think, retail are $2.99 a piece. And um, yeah, it's a whole bunch I got for free. I think the free coupon was in last um, fall's PNG, and you rarely ever see a free coupon in the PNG. So I really stocked up. I got a whole bunch. And then these are the Lysol uh, wipes, really great for cleaning, especially if you have pets. Um, I always try to get a bunch of them. And um, yeah, there's this is the one that I got a lot of, the Lysol Dual Action. Keep them in that box because I've run out of room on the shelves. And another uh, brag shot of my Febreze plugs. This is another uh, box that I just have miscellaneous Febreze products in. Stuff I was hauling last week at Rite Aid. And um, even though these things are all packaged up, they still kick out a, a big scent. Especially the ones with the gain product inside of. So I like to keep it in a closed container. And yeah. It doesn't make that room really smell. My husband gets really bad headaches from a lot of this stuff that has scents in it. So that's why I try to, you know, keep it closed. And then this is a whole bunch of palm olive. And uh, I think I got this for free or close to free at Meyer. This is my mother-in-law's favorite. So it's just nice to have it. Um, I mean, I have a shelf full of um, detergent or liquid um, dish soap. And then I also have this. So if I ever had to give a box to somebody, I could just grab stuff off of this shelf and I would be ready to make something. And this is a whole bunch of Tide Pods and Arm & Hammer Pods and every kind of pod. And there we have a whole bunch of toilet bowl cleaners. Everybody likes that. This, arm, this soft scrubbing or whatever it's called, the gooseneck ones, uh, it's a really great um, toilet bowl cleaner. And now one of these um, containers full of candle stuff. I made a video on this earlier in the week and here it is. I'm just going to show you how I store a lot of this stuff and a couple of these Febreze plugs, the tree ones, and they are the most, they have the, they kick out the biggest scent. And then one of these Airwick um, pumpkin sprays and these little spheres, everything is um, sealed so they don't really smell. A couple of the candles from Dollar General that I got for a quarter. That one was so, so cute. And then my absolute uh, favorite are these, um, they are tea light warmer and I think they're going to make a really nice Christmas gift next year. It's just so sweet looking and it comes actually with some wax. $6 each and I got them for 25 cents. So I grabbed every single one that I could find at the Dollar General and here I am closing this up. My husband will not get a headache from this, you know. And then we have this little thing of Clorox dust wipes. Um, my basement, my stockpile is in the basement and sometimes dust can just fly everywhere, um, especially with our furnace. 
So sometimes I'll take one of these wipes and then just um, get the dust off of some of these bags or some of the products just so everything stays so it looks new. It doesn't look like ratty or I've forgotten about it or it's just dying in my basement. And yeah, dust is collected. And this is a little Ziploc um, bag that I have. I think I got it for really cheap at the Dollar General. And just to show you guys, um, I'm storing fabric softener and then some more Tide Pods in there. And I have another container full of um, these dryer sheets. But you know, like this one, it, it goes pretty deep and I do have uh, quite an, an assortment of dryer sheets. And this is the sort of stuff that whenever a family member needs um, some stuff from my stockpile, it's always like, um, dryer sheets, please, dryer sheets. Cause they're really expensive um, and um, always needed as well and uh, just a little um, collection here if anybody would want anything I can grab stuff on the ready out of this bag and just to show you guys um, how I keep sometimes my hauls organized so this is um, just a plastic container that I have and I have like five or six of them and I try to keep everything together that's like items so as you can see I have a lot of men's body wash suave shampoo other goodies I'm going to show you a couple and I just try to keep everything together so if I was making a basket or if somebody needed some of this stuff I would know exactly where to look I wouldn't have to look in 15 different places in my house which is really annoying so even when I'm making these boxes it might take an hour or two to get stuff together because I have so much stuff but at least this way if I wanted to get some body wash together it's all in this bucket so you know there it is and a whole assortment of them um, you know we always get these really cheap or free over at uh, Walgreens. And then this is just um, maximizing every inch of this um, laundry room. We have uh, cat litter with detergent and all this other good stuff. Now this is a shelf that is my stuff and I will not give it to anyone. And um, I like to keep this separate from the stockpile. So if anybody came over, hands off of this stuff because this is my favorite stuff for washing and the stuff that we use on the daily. And I'm gonna show you guys a quick little hack of how I organize my Tide Pods. And this is what I like to use. Um, I don't like liquid detergent, I like Tide Pods. And I just keep them in these little containers and they're always on the ready. I can put a couple hundred in these containers and it's a very sturdy um, container too. I have the regular and the scent free depending what I am washing. So this is just a really smart way to get a little bit more organized. Okay, so an overall shot of the main part of my stockpile. I have a whole bunch of miscellaneous detergents down there. Anything on this shelf or these two shelves, anyone could have. I don't really care. Uh, the Lysol trigger sprays I want to keep though because that really cuts grease when you're cooking a lot, especially a lot of stovetop stuff like eggs or bacon. It really cuts grease beautifully. And then just another shot. My husband's shooting this with his fancy camera. As you can see, it just moves a certain way. But yeah, just um, stockpile galore <laughs> or galore, whichever you want. But yeah, every inch of this laundry room has stuff. And then there's even more stuff in different pockets. Um, what is the estimated value of this retail? Probably, I'm going to say maybe like twenty to $30,000 um, if I had to go buy all this stuff and pay full price. But totally worth it. And most of the stuff I got for free are extremely cheap with coupons. So up here on this weird shelf, I don't even know what this was used for from the last homeowner. I have a lot of Airwick kits. Uh, right here I have a bunch of hand soaps. Every hand soap under the sun. Everybody uh, my family likes something a little different. Um, my mom likes the Dial liquid hand soap. And my mother-in-law likes the um, soft soap. My husband likes the Method. Down here the expensive Lemmy Shine uh, concentrate dish soaps. And then down here the fancy schmancy Pure Cleans. Um, these are so expensive and I think I just wanted them because they were so expensive, which is like a stupid thing. I'm buying detergent because it's expensive. Tide uh, Free and Gentle, very nice as well. My mom's favorite. Next time I go see her, I'm going to bring her more of this because that is her favorite. It's just a really nice um, detergent, especially if you have a lot of allergies. And then a whole bunch of different fabric softeners by Downy. These are so cute. I remember at Meyer they were like 49 cents last fall. And this is my nine plex I have in the basement and uh, some of it's empty, some of it's full and just uh, a place to hide extra stuff. Um, a lot of Swiffer products, believe it or not, I don't even use Swiffer products. We just like an old fashioned broom. And just to show you one of the cubes that's filled with um, shaving cream, you know, and it's just a discreet way that I know where everything is and it's hidden. It's not on display. Another box of some of the shampoo I was getting at Rite Aid and, you know, just keeping it under the table for now because I've run out of room. And here is one of those um, L'Oreal Elvis shampoos.
Here is a Christmas bin filled of clearance merch that I've been hauling. Um, no candles or anything fragrant in there because I don't want the stuff to start smelling like candles. And it's all here, all packaged, ready to go for next year. And just another overview shot of my stockpile. Believe it or not, this was the table that I started doing my, my videos on a couple years back. And yeah, just um, that empty spot is actually for Suzu so she can watch me when I'm downstairs doing laundry. And these baskets I have like, you know, um, different air plugs and stuff that I want for the household. Those orange kitchen uh, Lysol wipes that I really like. And then just different containers to keep everything organized. This is stuff that we use for the household, the Biotene, Pantene, these little toothbrush kits that are so, so cute as well. And more stuff back there for my husband. And then here I have a container full of soap. The great thing about these clear containers is that you can see exactly how much you have just at a glance. You don't have to open everything up. And then all of this soap um, and detergent and stuff, I would give it to anybody who wanted it because I'm not attached to any of this stuff. Most of the stuff in my stockpile I am not attached to. And if it's stuff that I really want to keep, I keep it on a shelf or keep it upstairs like in a cabinet or something like that. And there is some of my Christmas stuff right under the stairs. And it's just there, you know, for next year, not collecting dust and, you know, just looking really great in those containers and an overspill of paper products that I have. So we're going back upstairs. Um, and this is my master closet. I do have more paper and this is the stuff that we use for our household or if a family member came over and wanted some paper, I would gift from here because I can't keep I can't give them stuff from downstairs because that shelf has to be filled to capacity because we have an acrobat cat that likes to climb into the ceiling in the uh, ductwork and she just gets into stuff and oh speak of the devil here she is prowling around and she's a very curious kitty and for the safety of her that she doesn't break an arm or leg um that's why I started putting stuff here in the master um, bedroom. It's just a smarter way to go. Um, and that other shelf, she because we have it right up to the ceiling in the basement, she can't climb into the ductwork. And it's just one of those things. Um, it's a crazy thing that if you have a cat that's like that acrobatic that she can climb like that, but she's still like a kitten. So she's a bad girl. But yeah, I just have a ton of different paper towel, toilet paper. I even have some Kleenex up here. If any family member would come over and say, hey, could you help me out with this? Or I need the following. Hey, I got you covered. And we have a lot of it. And um, yeah, just a whole lot of sales and a lot of memory lane here. I'm sure most of your closets don't look like this. And this is what I use to keep the moisture out too, those little eliminators you get at the Dollar Tree. And it's just a way to keep your stockpile looking extra great. So that's it for this video, guys. As always, thank you so much for watching. And maybe you could tell me what your favorite thing to stockpile for as an extreme couponer. I'll catch you in the next one.